in my multimeter, oscilloscope, power supply, soldering station, reflow station, and AC supply, which is like the most common things to have for a an electronics enthusiast or maker workshop. Okay, now that we have the electronics tools, let me show some more tools that I have in my workshop. I have two fiber laser machines. These are quite useful, especially for engraving on metal, even cut metal with this. Here I have some basic tools. This is a sander, a vibration sander. This is a Bosch a screwdriver, electric screwdriver with a bunch of tips, like a revolver. It's quite awesome. Then I have here, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, these are some keys. Then I have a hot uh, gun. This is a hot gun. Uh, also from Parkside. This is from Parkside, which is a brand from Lidl here in uh, Europe. Then I have a bunch of other keys, Allen keys. And these are just a bunch of drill bits and screwdriver, screwdriver tips. Then all these machines are not in the correct place for now. I have a few 3D printers, resin 3D printers, two uh, normal 3D printers, FDM, and I also have a belt uh, saw for when I have to cut metal or wood. Obviously I have an angle grinder here. It's quite old, but does the job. And I have also a saw for cutting metal, which the saw cost me about $200 but only the blade cost me $160 <laughs> because it's a blade made from tungsten, I think, which is specially made for cutting uh, metal because as you, if you remember, the stairs outside are made out of metal and I bought this just to cut a bunch of uh, bars. Also for my table, it's also made from metal. That's why I bought it. And for now it works quite well. It's also from Parkside. Obviously I have a normal drill. This is a plug-in drill. Uh, I think it's of 800 watts. And I've also bought this one from AliExpress. This has the colors of Makita, but it's not Makita, but it works quite well. It has a bunch of speeds. 